getting ready. Put a coat of this uh, acrylic stuff on the side patch here. I like not having the ladder back there. Looks cleaner. Not just convenient, of course. I'm gonna have to go get a ladder and carry that around with me. Starting my cleanup as well. All right, the side patch is all spruced up. Holding tanks are dumped. Water tank is filled. I think I uh, just got garbage left, and that will be good to go to hit the road. Get more things boxed up. The extra beetle tape, Eterna Bond, and that pro adhesive, the RV lighting, ham radio, which will be temporarily stored. In fact, that will probably not be stored too long at all. I need to rewire this ham, or uh, the scanner since that cabinet is not here, it's not connected anymore. And I want to put it down on the dash, as well as make that J-pole antenna. I think that will be fun. Got everything cleared off the top of the shelf since that's not really mounted anymore. The roof back in its original position doesn't hold the um, top of these pipes. So I left the heavy things on the bottom, cleared the top two racks. That's on there pretty good. I even bungeed on the shower rod there for a little extra support but that's not going anywhere and that whole thing is going in the storage unit it's too big for the RV and I don't need this many tools in here just measured the shower and I'm going to cut my remaining 4x8 sheets of plywood or uh, underlayment down to 3 feet and something I can have some panels left over for fixing the shower or at least this back wall it's this part that was really bad right here and yeah, I just screwed in a one of these thick plastic grocery bags for now just to keep the water from splashing in there and it doesn't the water doesn't actually seem to get up that high but just in case I got there anyway shower needs work really bad so yeah well I was going to return those because it would be like 60 bucks I got three sheets left over I could really use it but um, I would really like to have that shower fixed so um, well, I'm gonna cut those down to three feet and slip them, slip them on in here. Also got all those two by fours. This is almost full. The latex stuff. It's good for the side patches. Worked good on the roof too. But we'll see how this acrylic does over the years. Okay, apparently I can fit four by eight sheets in here now. Or maybe because they're thin and floppy, is able to to the dash and just barely had enough room to slide in. So that's pretty cool. Thought I had to cut those down. Everything's packed up, tied down, just about ready to go. I'm gonna grab my garbage on the way out.
talking about the tent cities, but boy, there are giant piles of trash. And uh, just trash all over the place, all up and down the freeway. done unloading the RV at the storage unit and holy moly this RV holds so much crap I just spent like five hours getting that all done saving the stuff I need like the welder tools I need to make I'm gonna modify these little feet that I made I could put a big square pad on the bottom of them and I can glue that to the roof start up that generator here soon but first I'm gonna get some food I'm starving um, actually it's I have completely skipped breakfast it's like what time is it uh, it's 3 35 p.m. I have not eaten yet today so I'm gonna take uh, one of these chicken noodle cans and suck it down good for on those days that I haven't eaten anything and I just need to eat some soup. <laughs> 